What's up crew welcome to another video heading over to extreme gonna work out kind of had a lazy morning I have two videos that I gotta sit down and actually like watch Whoo! I think I have two hours of Neil footage and then probably another two to three maybe not total hours of footage to watch of organic kitchen typical way I uh, edit is very simple you take all the footage you've done for the day throw it into a, a sequence and then you just parse it down as you go and that's good and dandy for a vlog <sighs> also a vlog that you know i typically undershoot the amount of footage uh so that i don't have so much to look through this time i overshot so that i had as much as i could possibly ever need for both of them it's gonna take me a while like i literally have to watch every single minute and grab all of the best footage to make their videos. But I also want to, with this business model, which I think I've mentioned, but I may have taken out of the previous vlogs, I want to be able to take this and create Instagram bangers, just so, actually, you know what? Social media bangers in general, and that's just crisp, clean video that the business or uh, personal brand can take and put on their Instagrams and promote that way You know, they don't have to worry about it for at least a month and they got their money worth I got to do that after I work out. I also have to return my lenses, which really sucks Although I did a test this morning uh, Trying to see if there really was much of a difference between this EFS prime lens, which is kind of a lower quality smaller lens and the EF you know, $1,500 lenses, which I didn't really notice too much of a difference, um, but it did kind of put the brakes on, like whether or not I actually, because I almost, I'm getting a chunk of money, and I was thinking about reinvesting some of it and getting a new lens, and it was either going to be, it's either going to be the Prime 24, which I can get a lot more artistic shots with, or this 2470, which doesn't get as low as an f-stop, but it has a low enough f-stop at 2.8 and 70 that I can get that bokeh at the, throughout the entire range of that uh, zoom. They're both around the same price, but you know, $1,600 is a lot to drop just out of nowhere. Plus, I'm planning on getting a new gimbal, uh, an easier one to set up, the Zion Crane, however you say that. Talking about money, why am I talking about money? This is a fitness channel, let's fitness! All right, so Neil still feels like crap, because he's fallen in the same trap as me, and that's you eat, and you eat, and you eat, and you eat. Like So, we're gonna bro out today. So, first, we're gonna hit some cardio. I don't need to know my slow ass face. Cardio, yay! Let's get sweaty. And then we're gonna bro out, and it's gonna be a bro montage. A bro tage. It's not beach season, it's just muscle season year round. That's what I'm talking about, tricep pump. Do you know about that Globo shit? Ooh, that extreme logo. Ooh, bicep. with the bicep. Globo gym pump. 
all day. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Ooh, the American flag though. Oh yes, with the tricep pump. America. Yes. I told Tracy officially we're not going to get any more done. <laughs> officially. But unofficially. What we have at the house is all we're sticking with. Uh, I, I wish it was that easy. <laughs> He's saying lightweight when there's 800 pounds on the squat rack. Lightweight, baby! Hey, is he doing Mr. Olympia Masters? I have no idea. Uh, Ray didn't want any of the global pump. Hey, Ray! Ray don't want to be slow. <sighs> I think the uh, Raiders took it out of him. Yeah. Rain about that small life. <laughs> it's all you, bro. Yeah, some random extra turf. Just put up the wall. Set my camera up to where it looks like the ground. <laughs> and then Am I doing it right? <laughs> <laughs> they go this side. Hey, what happened yesterday? <laughs> to the you other guys, side. What, what happened? <laughs> Bro, they were making up rules yesterday. <laughs> Even before that, it was like, there were like five or six calls that were just bad. You know how to on. <laughs> Who has a potential of, uh, uh, Randy Moss at one time. Okay, Michael cool. Crabtree. <laughs> X-Body. Explosive <laughs> uh. Ball's evil. Well, turns out my camera fits right there. That's part of It's actually better than my mount. It's probably gonna actually stick there too. Only problem is it took me quite a bit to set up. It wasn't something I could just plop down. Y'all you know I mean? Heading off to the old Whole Foods. And then from there, drop off my lenses, or not my lenses, the uh, rented lenses at UPS. And then, uh, Go home, edit some videos. Man, I have a project going right now that I wanna finish, but I, I just know that I'm not gonna be able to finish it anytime soon. I might have to like go into the garage tonight after I cook dinner and work on it, which reminds me I need to stop and get some like hot glue or something. Ooh, I just had an idea. I might have to stop by this tap plastic space and see how much they charge for custom work. Uh, Cause maybe I can have them mold what I want. Ooh. Whole Foods, grab some food. Uh, grab these little shot things that I like to uh, well. I've only gotten it once I mentioned it in a video when I deleted it uh, Where am I going with it? Whole Foods grab some food I'm gonna go to UPS really quick drop off the package and then I'm gonna go to tap plastics Which is right down the street from that uh, UPS shop I'm trying to make a ring light that goes around the lens so that I can get that really cool effect around the pupil I made a square version too, but it didn't go well I also need to look up how to do that because I think I wired it incorrectly and it just, it didn't create the series well enough to turn the lights on. Cause I wanna, I'm gonna do sit and talks. I'm gonna do way more sit and talks in the new year, but I need that circle light. I don't know why I need it, but I, I just, I love that effect. And I think it's a cool way to light the face. The brush sesh went pretty good. I feel, I feel pumped. I feel like I've got some buys for the guys. It's like, I wanna take my camera into Whole Foods and get like, footage of food and stuff, but I just don't want to be that weird guy holding my big old camera, shooting food. And then I want to take it into EPS, but that's awkward. And then I want to take it into Tap Plastic, but that's also the same thing. It's like, what's this weird guy doing with the camera in my store? So, I guess we'll catch you on the flip side. As you may have guessed, I haven't touched one bit of editing. Distraction after distraction after distraction and I haven't even begun to edit uh, anything that I need to or want to edit. Whole Foods was great. I had some chicken, some broccoli, and I tend to make better choices when I do that, so I think I'm gonna keep doing it as, a, as expensive as it can be. Dropped off the lenses, which obviously that went fine because, I mean, it's pretty automated. And then I went to the tap plastics and I was going to see about having them doing something custom. I would have to draw out some like diagrams and, and give them a little bit more input and then they could tell me how much it would cost. So what I'm doing right now is it's 3.30. I got to pick Dylan up at 4.30. I'm going to watch an episode of Ozark, which has been a pretty interesting show. If you haven't watched it yourself, it's 
tur it twists and turns all over the place and it's an interesting topic with like money laundering and you always wonder about that kind of stuff but really cool show if you haven't checked it out and then I'm gonna go pick up Dylan come back cook dinner which I don't know what it's gonna be probably gonna do like pork burgers or something because I just grabbed some meats and some veggies and I'm just every night I'm gonna have to come up with something then I'll probably start editing I think I'm gonna try to do as much as I can tonight and just crank it out get it done. The new year is coming and I do plan on changing things up a tiny bit. It'll still be vlogs. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna commit to daily starting January 1st. Uh, whatever that means, I'm gonna pick up the camera every single day and vlog. And then within, you know, each week, each month, each whatever, there's gonna be some sort of milestone for me to sit down and do a uh, talking head. Uh, part of it's gonna be updates on me as far as, you know, I'm gonna start the ketogenic diet. I'm gonna start fasting. I'm gonna play around with different types of fasting, whether it's intermittent for a ketogenic diet or full days, couple days, maybe a week. Um, and I think I'm gonna try to build a schedule to build up to a week. Actually, I'm gonna make another video that's completely like what, what I want out of the ketogenic diet or what I want out of the changes that I'm about to make. Lots to come. I'll, I'll bring more details as time comes. I might even edit a lot of the stuff out. So, let me just say, this whole entire section was seven minutes. If it's way shorter than that, just assume that there was, I said too much or I decided that there was a big chunk that just we can t talk about later. Uh, so look forward to that content. Again, thank you for being a part of this. You know, I would love to be a huge YouTuber, but I don't know if that's ever gonna happen or if that's even cool. I just, I wanna put out content, I wanna practice my craft and I wanna share this story in hopes that it, it helps anyone else and helps me, if anything, be accountable too for myself. So thanks again for watching. If you're new, subscribe. If you're not new, hit that like button. If you'd like to file a complaint or send some positive vibes, leave a comment. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Crew.